Okay, hello, hello and welcome everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Musings with Mark. Uh, once again, this is just a little program, a little thing where I'm just connecting with different individuals in the Yale and Yale's community to hear some of their thoughts about things that are close to their hearts and uh, really a platform for us to connect with one another and just have good conversations about things that matter to us. So today with me, I have Derek. Derek, why don't you introduce yourself? Right, so thanks Mark for having me on your show. Well, I, think a, I think it's a really cool idea um, to just listen to stories of other people. Um, I'm Derek, I'm a senior, I'm from Chundana. Uh, yeah, and I'm majoring in history, and today I'm talking about living a balanced life. Okay, yeah. wow, living the balanced life there. Yeah. So what exactly about the balanced life uh, is so appealing to you? I think, I mean, I began to think about it really when I was in university, and I think it's, the reason why I chose this topic was because I think it's especially relevant for us in Yale and US. Mm. I think a lot of people struggle to find that balance, and mm. I think I see a lot of people always getting burned out or they're tired all the time um, and I think it's it's very healthy for us to pursue you know a balanced life hmm. yeah okay so you mentioned that you often see people being you know, burnt out very very stressed so how do yeah. you yourself uh, avoid some of these things and experience yeah. the healthy balanced <laughs> life <laughs> I think teach us your secrets there. I was thinking about <laughs> this when I was preparing preparing for this talk uh, I think one of the the first things that everyone needs to, to do is to know what you want. I think uh, a fundamental problem is that a lot of people don't know what they want, mm. especially like in freshman year, right? Everyone signs up for like a thousand things and yep. it's because you don't know what you want, mm. right? And to a certain extent, that's fair. I mean, you can try different things, but I think you have to come to a point where you say, okay, um, I've tried these things mm. and these things are what is important to me okay. and I will invest in these things because mm. I have limited time right. and resources and so I choose what to give myself to sure. yeah. instead of spreading myself so thin that mm. I end up not doing any of them effectively at all mm. yeah. so, so how then would you, you know, balance between this uh, very real need or desire for some of us to you know, explore Right, mm -hmm. because I think, especially you mentioned the freshmen, but but even over the years, we realize, oh, there's this new interesting course that comes our way. Yeah. Oh, there's this new interesting student group, especially for the Yale News community. We have a lot of creative yeah. people, a lot of new opportunities. Oh, there's this new uh, uh, week seven <laughs> thing to go for. Right next week, uh, there's this new summer program. So, how then do you balance this need to to get out there, to expose yourself to new mm -hmm. things, whilst at the same time, uh, I'm gonna phrase it, kind of your core priorities. Mm -hmm. you, how do you balance between those two? I don't know, that's a tough question. And I think part of it has to do with like seasons of your life. Okay. I think there are certain seasons where it's more of like, you know, putting yourself out there, experiencing different things. Mm. Um, and then you sort of go into like seasons where you're more focused in what okay. you want. Mm. Right? And so I think a good example would be like from freshman year to senior year. Because mm. obviously now we're like jaded seniors, you don't do anything. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> speak for yourself there. <laughs> no. I am an unjaded no, yeah, senior. Yeah. No, but I mean, like when you get to junior and senior year, you're mostly around. Sure, you know sure. what you want to do. Yeah. Um, but even then, like I feel like I'm going through sort of like a tension now because I'm in my senior year. Um, and so I know that I need to focus on my capstone mm. and whatnot. But at the same time, there's there's this need to like make the most out of my, my yeah. last year, yeah, yeah. right? Um, so I am trying new things. I went for rock climbing, uh, which I've never gone before Very cool. here. Yeah. Um, I plan to go for one of the MMA sessions. Mm. And I think it's it's just about sort of, again, prioritizing, you yeah. know? Like, yeah. and, and when you do feel like, oh, I need to, to do something new, yeah. Um, almost always you need to cut back on, on some of your other things. It, right? it feels that way, yes. Yeah. So for example, I've, I've stopped volleyball mm. because it's, it was a heavy commitment for me mm. and that frees me up to try other sure. things. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so I, I think that's definitely a very uh, kind of mature and practical perspective mm -hmm. that you have to know what your season is, right? I mean, yeah. this term perhaps a little bit abstract, but basically what are your core priorities mm -hmm. for a set period of time? You know, and, and so maybe for example in freshman year, since this is a completely new environment, it yeah. is your priority to expose yourself as widely right, as exactly. possible and you shouldn't yeah. hold yourself back. 
but if you're a senior and you're still wondering, you know, among seven CCs, <laughs> uh, seven co-curriculars, which one do you want to invest in uh, and really call That's your own? That's a problem. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, maybe you have some <laughs> secrets, you know, come, come and talk to me or Derek and we'd, we'd be happy to hear, I'm sure, how you managed to, to yeah. balance that out. Yeah. But I think uh, on top of that, uh, one thing that really caught my attention is how you said, you know, almost always when you take on a new activity, you have to cut back on something that... Uh, you know, you, you have previously invested in and you mentioned, mm -hmm. uh, you know, putting volleyball to the side because that yeah. was taking up a lot of time. I think definitely that can be a difficult decision uh, for many people, having to give yeah. up something that maybe matters a lot to them or that yeah. they've been very yeah, yeah, comfortable yeah. with for a long yeah. period of time. So maybe you can share a little bit about, you know, was it very difficult or easy to kind of move your mm -hmm. time and priorities around, given that that was something that you had done for, for so long and you were so comfortable yeah. with? Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess just being comfortable with with change. Like mm. I was in volleyball for basically my entire time here, mm. um, but I did feel like even though it's sad that I, I don't get to play anymore, like and there's still ICGs next sure. semester, yeah. but I feel like it was a good run. You know, mm. I had a good time. Yeah, um, I learned a lot. I met a lot of new people, and and I saw the team grow, mm. and, and so I feel like I, I can leave satisfied you know and i don't feel like i mean yeah it's sad but you know times change right. life changes so would you say you feel like you've accomplished what you set out to do or you feel like you've taken something valuable away from yeah it? i think so mm. yeah. yeah so yeah. i think i think that's definitely an important part of our evaluation mm -hmm. you know has in that sense uh have we achieved what we set out to do yeah what have i actually involved myself in this for yeah. is the purpose mm -hmm. of why i'm doing this even clear yeah and i think yeah, that's yeah. something that gets lost a little bit in our exploration sometimes mm -hmm. you don't really take the time to stop and think actually why <laughs> why am i doing this thing right and the six right. other things yeah. why, why am i actually doing it um and and so that's definitely a helpful yeah. question to ask yourself. i mean it's a good question because i think when you ask yourself that then you realize like actually i don't really need this like mm. it's not that important yep. to me um so for example another one of my major school commitments is mm. cf okay right yep. and um you would have realized that I stopped going for CF, the main CF yeah, sessions. Yeah, I've, I've, I've I mean, noticed you have, that. Uh, have you been going? Oh, I have not. I've got my eyes on you, Derek. No, I know. Yeah, yeah but um, yeah. so I, I had to prioritize, right? Mm -hmm. And I thought the prayer mm -hmm. sessions were more important. So mm -hmm. that's what I went for. Mm -hmm. Whereas for CF, you know, I have my own Bible study outside. I have sure. my own small group. Um, I go to church. And so I feel like I, I didn't need it that mm -hmm. much. You yep. know? So in terms of what my goals are it just didn't align with the okay. main session we, yeah. we, we can actually take uh, you know we can help each other out because I actually feel that I want to go for the Thursday session <laughs> I see right. the value there so we cover it <laughs> you, you go for the prayer sessions <laughs> incidentally I'm leading the one tonight so <laughs> but, but, but the point is that yeah. uh, definitely I, I think you're onto something here Derek which is that you know to make very intentional decisions about right. these things exactly right so oftentimes we see people saying uh, no 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 or yes 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 but i think the important point and this is something that came up actually in conversations with other people and i think it's something that our community can all learn from is when you say yes to something you're really saying no to something yeah right and you need to know that mm -hmm. and when you're saying no to something you better be saying yes to something because that's right. how you learn more about yourself yeah and where you can invest your time but it's funny because the example you brought about cf makes me think about something uh, kind of my own strategy in, in dealing with, you know, kind of balancing exploration uh -huh. and our responsibilities. And I think it's to really reach out to people who, who care for you, your mm -hmm. friends, your family, basically the people who support you, mm -hmm. and to let them know that, hey, you know, I, I know I'm the, 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 the volleyball guy, right? Or yeah. I know I'm the CF guy, right? That's what a lot of my life yeah. has been lately. But there's this new thing I want to check out. There's this mm -hmm. new thing I want to explore. Um, maybe that's going to mean I have less time for, for so-called some of you or some of the activities, yeah. but, but just keep the communication open. Yeah. And I think you'll be surprised. I mean, I've been surprised when I reach out to some of my friends and, for example, you know, my, uh, my group in church that I'm very heavily involved with, and I say, on campus, I want to start this you know, new video thing. <laughs> you know? I want to do a, a, a lot of other campus things. That, yeah. and, and that is necessarily going to mean I have less time and less focus in certain areas. Yeah. Right? And, and you'd be surprised. I mean, I was really surprised to see, wow, they were really very supportive. And they would even come with ideas or feedback yeah. and say, oh, you know, maybe you can try this, you can do that. And I think that's uh, also part of the communal uh, living, something we can tap on when we talk about yeah. balanced living. We don't have to do it on our own, right? We always think, oh, I have to have everything, uh, you know, I have to kind of juggle mm -hmm. everything on my own. Why? We don't actually have to do it that way. 
yeah, I mean, like, it's a good point, like, communication. I mean, even communicating with the people that you have these commitments to, yep. Yep. I think it's important. Like, I intentionally told, like, the then CF leaders, mm-hmm. like, you know, I'm probably not going to go for that many CF mm-hmm. sessions, yep. just to give you a heads up, right? Yep. So, just so you yep. don't expect me to be there to support sure. you every week. Yep. And they're like, yeah, sure, I mean, we respect that, and, mm-hmm. and it's, a, it's a good arrangement. Like, everyone yep. knows where everyone is standing. Yes. Yeah. And, and it works out. Yeah. yeah. And it first begins with you, right? You have to be the one to take the initiative to say, yeah. hey, I've thought this through. I mean, you don't want it to be the case where everybody's kind of wondering, oh, where's this person? Where's that person? Why you, do they. And you don't know. You don't know. <laughs> yeah. like, Why am I so tired, right? Why am I so distracted? Why am yeah. I so unfocused? Yeah, yeah. So I think it really begins with yourself. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So that's a definitely really, really interesting, Derek. Mm-hmm. And uh, thank you for sharing your perspectives on, on leading the balanced life. What would you say is one practice? that you do maybe daily or consistently, maybe not daily, but consistently right. that helps you grow this habit of, of balance? Well, I think the, when we talk about balance, I guess the main sort of threat to, that, that disrupts this balance mm-hmm. is, is always work, mm-hmm. right? And so I tend to think that, that rest is really important. Okay. Like do things that make you rested, mm-hmm. right? So I have a few things that I do. So. Um, Every day, I would try to pray. I try to read the mm-hmm. Bible. And that's my that centers me, sure, and that yeah. slows me down, okay. right? Yeah. And then every week, I would try to take one day where I where I don't do anything mm. that is work related, sure. And so I, I spend time with people. I just chill at home. Mm. Uh, I go out with my girlfriend, mm. um, and that also gives me that needed rest and respite. And mm. and it also makes you sort of um, realize that hey, you know what? I can take a break. Mm. Yeah, I don't have to be like running around all the time. Like it right. doesn't, it like taking one day off doesn't actually hurt me that sure. much. Yeah, yeah, and I think that that practice has really has really helped me to always put things in perspective mm. and to realize that hey, you know what, studies isn't everything. Right? Yeah, there are all these things that make me fulfill and they're important for me to to invest in. Yeah. Wow, okay, so it sounds like you, you really do have a certain uh, kind of rhythm that you've established. Yeah. Right? You know, push yourself hard, you know, be dedicated, be very diligent for, for uh, I'll, I'll use the word intentional, right? That's yeah. something that's come up a lot in our conversation. Be very intentional about clearing that work for six days. Yeah. And exactly. then on the seventh, be intentional about resting as well. Yeah, because when you do that, and then in the six days, you really do work, yeah. you know, yeah. you're not distracted <laughs> and everything. Yeah. And, and then... Yeah, you realize I can't finish it in six days. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's not a problem. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very good, Derek. So, we want to thank you very much for sharing your perspectives, sure. Derek. This is yeah. something that I think is uh, interestingly ties in a lot with all uh, quite a few of you know the previous sharings by by other people yeah. about what it means to you know pursue academic excellence or our hobbies, and right. now we talk oh, about right. a balanced yeah, yeah. life. Yeah. So I think it's really something that. Uh, seems to be our, our community you know is, is on the minds and hearts of, of our community yeah. here at Yale and US so guys if you enjoyed this please do leave a like you know share you know comment all that social media stuff but most importantly for our community's sake uh, get connected you know I'm not even saying it has to be with me or Derek mm-hmm. but I think these kind of conversations are, are something that are very enjoyable right Derek yeah <laughs> uh, and, and you know this is one such platform right here um, but I'm sure that your sweet mates or your friends or really anybody in this community, I think we'd all enjoy to have these conversations and establish a culture where we just connect with one another like this. So you know how to reach out to me. Uh, Derek is my sweet mate if you want to you know, come over and you know, uh, hang out sometime. But most importantly, guys, um, connect. Connect. I think that's really the message here. Right. And uh, like Derek has uh, helpfully provided us as well, maybe establish a rhythm of work and rest and see how that works out for you. So we'll leave you with that musing and we'll catch you next time. See you guys. Bye-bye.